On in, we have news here courtesy of Hypebeast. Lil Yachty is announcing the date of an inaugural release of his nail polish line, which makes complete sense, right? I think in the last few um, years, it feels like he's kind of really lent into this idea that he has really good fingers. Oh, really good fingers. That sounds suspect. Really good nails, really good feet, um, great skin, which is awesome to see, right? This new generation of rappers coming up who are kind of uh, circumventing the sort of um, traditional way rappers are sort of viewed and kind of tapping into their individuality, which obviously sells nowadays. I think the more niche and the more different and the more other you are compared to your peers though usually the better that you're going to do especially if your music is good fans are just kind of dying to you know fanboy over somebody that's into some stuff that's a bit alternative look at tyler the creator right odd future they they made an entire career off of being like the you know the opposite of what you'd expect a regular black kid from la or california to kind of be like and i think this announcement from lou yeah is very congruent to him as a person and it kind of works especially when you find i think of the kind of trend that we have going on at the moment right you just open your tiktok account account and you see a proliferation of flipping dudes with dangly earrings and colored nails right it's a thing that at the moment it's the most it's the most uh, punk thing you can do it's probably the equivalent of wearing a red maga hat if you're like under the age of 21 which is great um i was painting my nose for a while then I just stopped because it's really difficult to do it yourself to kind of make it look nice. Then I didn't want to go to the actual nail salon to get it done because I felt uncomfortable. But I didn't mind get I didn't mind getting them done and wearing them out in public. I just didn't want to be in a nail salon. And usually the nail salon, you know, they're designed for women. So the seats are tiny, the little nail bar, you're kind of all hunched over like an absolute ogre. It just looks a bit odd. And that, that you know, that hand posture is strange. I don't know. It just wasn't the right thing for me. So I've always wondered. Um, if there is going to be a future where you're going to have a barbershop because that's one thing I'd always love to have right because I think this is something I was thinking of when maybe when the wire nails was around or one of those kind of hairdress trendy hairdressers shops, I was thinking why don't we have a black barbershop or an, a barbershop for you know urban gentlemen that was um, cool that you could go into you could get your hair braided you can get your hair relaxed, you can get your hair coloured, you can get a fade, you can also read some magazines, play pledges in the back, maybe play pool, and then it maybe had a nail bar there too that you could, you know, get your nails touched up. Um, that would be awesome. You can get them coloured, whatever it may be. That would be really cool and it would make people a lot more comfortable, I think, personally for me, because a nail bar by, you know, by its nature, you'd probably have a couple of girls working on there. You have, you know, maybe a mix of genders in terms of being barbers so it kind of made the vibe a little bit easier because i think that's probably why going in nail bars for me is odd i feel a little bit like what girls feel like when they go to barber shops with their boyfriends you feel like you're flipping chum in the water right your bait everyone kind of turns around like oh who's this fresh meat right even when you're a boyfriend people are just like barbershop guys are so thirsty it's like they've never seen a female in their entire life it's always funny especially when one walks past a window everyone's always kind of breaking their neck so i'd imagine if you walked into a barbershop and they had some girls working on the nail bar, a couple of girls maybe as barbers, it would probably, you know, as far as the boy, it would probably make it easier for you to go and get your nails done because, you you know, it'd be a little bit more of a, you know, looser vibe in there. It wouldn't be as tense. But, you know, maybe that's an idea for the future, you know, to open up a barbershop with, that's just a cool one. That's like a, you know, uh, something that kind of is relevant to what's going on nowadays in terms of how people interact and go around, you know, you know, charge points, Wi-Fi, free Wi-Fi. That'd be sick. I think that'd be really cool. But yeah, this is um the news here from Hypebeast. You've got here Lil Yatty, of course, with the pictures posing with his nails done, with some nail art there, and that's the actual gizmo itself. I wonder how that works. What, what is it? Do you press down? That was pretty cool, isn't it? It's called Crit, Crit or Crit. The packaging it is pretty cool. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie, no homo, but he does have good hands, man. That's what happens when all you do is rap and you know live in your massive mansion in flipping Atlanta. Those hands don't look like they've been toiling in service industry, do they? <laughs> Let's continue. It says here, yeah, following from the word last year, Lil Yachty has now announced the inaugural release of his fine his, his nail paint line called Crete. The debut negatives are one collection will feature nail paint reinterpreted with an innovative art pen designed in three matte monochromatic monochromatic shades. The new packaging and application design um, is part of Yachty's goal to make nail painting accessible for all. Okay, also he says if you find painting your nails uh, is a way to show your creative side. Is an artistic, um, or it's an artistic 
sorry, oh, it's an aesthetic that fits you, you shouldn't be judged for it. Outside of an opinion, um, shouldn't have an effect on your aesthetic and whatever you decide to do, this line is a fraction of that, said Yeti. Founded in collaboration with Beauty Incubator Kinetic Brands, Yeti looked into the start of Create to break the barriers of men's grooming and self-care, pushing the movement with Crete to empower individuals of all genders and identities to take their self-expression with the for you, not them vision. Little Little Yeti's Crete Nail Paint Negative Zone 01 collection will be available at Crete's website on May 21st. So I wonder how that gets applied. Can you, the only thing, was it, um, what's the thing I found hard? Is it cuticles? Whatever that bit is here, that's why I find it hard to paint. Obviously painting the main bit's okay, but getting the edges right, it was so difficult to do. Um, obviously he's posing there with them. I wonder how you apply it actually on your nails. What's that look like? What's that video? Is it gonna be copyright music? We like a shit down. Yep, pause that so we can't play that. But yeah, well, I wonder how that gets applied. I don't know. I don't really have an idea how it gets applied. If you have no in the in the comments, please let me know how people apply that nail polish onto their actual hands. It looks pretty cool. Um, I'll be interested to see if this gets picked up. Um, obviously, the Pharrell skincare line did pretty well. It, was sell, it, sell, it kept selling out again and again and again. So I wouldn't be surprised if you see a lot more people kind of tapping into this whole nail polish trend thing with dudes. Um, I'd imagine a lot of those TikTok boys, like those little huddies and who else, I don't know what their names are. They're definitely going to be doing these things next, but these look great. Um, I'd imagine they probably did these in this way for the shoot, so it looks clean, but I wonder if there's a way to create something that could make painting your own nails easy to do, because obviously doing your thumbs is simple, uh, but then it gets, when you start doing your other fingers and you switch from your less, you know, stable hand to the other, because I'm right-handed, it gets a little bit tricky, but... You know, who knows? The future, there are many, many possibilities.